Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use the C++ maps. Uh, maps are associative containers that store elements formed by a combination of a key value and a map value following a specific order. Okay, so let's dive into Eclipse CDT and find out what a map can do for you. Okay, so um, the first thing we need to do is declare the um, preprocessor directive map uh, IO stream for C out for uh, and then the next thing is uh, string and then using namespace standard then create our own main method okay so to create the map uh, we say map um, the actual data type so it's going to be string and int and we call this table okay so a map is basically a uh, in a value pair. So for this case, we're going to create a table uh, that has uh, a string key and an integer value. And I'm going to assign a couple of um, keys and value for this table. T1 set it equal to 25. T2 set it equal to 26. And then we could do a standard C out of those keys on the table. Okay, at this point we can save the program uh, and compile. Okay, it uh, went successful. So let's open a terminal and and as you can see the uh, the demo executable is already compiled here. And to run it, just type in demo, right? So you can see that uh, the value is 25 and 26 which is in respect to the T1 and T2 uh, pair that we talked about. Okay, so the next thing we can do is uh, we can actually iterate to the actual map container. So to do this, we're going to go and create a um, iterator. Like so, then we can use a for loop to basically iterate through the whole entire map. And then um, we could do a standard C out. Up first. And second. So what this code is doing is it's going to print out the key and the value for um, the map table. So let's compile it. And it went successful. Let's go to the terminal again. And then just type demo. So you can see that um, it actually iterates through the entire table and print out the key 1 and then its value, key 2 
and its um, value. So the next thing we, what we can do is we can actually do um, a clear. The clear would basically erase all the key and value pairs from the table. So to do this, we say table dot clear. Okay, and if we try to print out those keys again, we should see that it's going to be initialized to um, to zero. Okay, so let's recompile the code again and then execute. As you can see, the last uh, statement we got nothing or zero for those key one and uh, key two pairs. Okay, so this ends the uh, quick tutorial for um, a map container in C++. Thank you for watching.